What's up everybody, Chris Turner here for GeForce and it's the moment you've been waiting for. We're announcing the winners of our CES contest. We're gonna be giving away one, two, three, four, six, seven, five, five, not six, okay, five. We're gonna be giving away five GeForce GTX 1080s for those of you who participated in our contest. Hopefully, most of you saw that we were running a contest. It was all over the place. You basically had to subscribe to our channel and post a comment on any of our CES videos. We covered all the major announcements that NVIDIA put out that relate to GeForce, to gaming, to Shield. We even had one on our self-driving car. All right, well, let's take a look. We've culled at random from our CES videos. I've got one, two, three, four, five commenters here, and these five commenters, as long as they uh, meet our requirements, will win a GeForce GTX 1080 coming your way. First one, we'll give away to TRWL. TRWL, who writes, I'm excited to finally get high performance components like the GTX 1080 on Apple products. Uh, well, TRWL, the TLDR on that, is that we're not actually supplying components to Apple, uh, but rather we are going to be uh, providing our awesome GFN service so that if you are a Mac user or owner, then you can play PC gaming on your Mac. It's pretty awesome. Check out our video if you haven't already. Next up, Elzeus13 posted, I'm most excited about GeForce now being available on Mac. Now I don't have to make compromises when I want to game. And by compromises, I'm assuming that you mean that you don't want to buy a new gaming laptop or PC tower to be able to game, that you just want to game on your existing Mac. And guess what? You soon will be able to. That's pretty awesome. Next up, Ben Mitchell. Ben writes, that Predator laptop with dual 1080s is wild stuff and G-Sync HDR monitors are going to be intense. Gonna need some serious NVIDIA style power behind one of those. Hmm, I wonder what we could give you that could provide NVIDIA style power. How about a free GeForce GTX 1080? All right, is that enough? Is that gonna do it for you, Ben? You want that? Okay, cool. All right, next up. Uh, somebody who refers to themselves as Internet Alias. Internet Alias says, honestly, two GTX 1080s and a laptop? The plastic on that laptop will decompose before that becomes obsolete. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's some serious gaming power in that laptop. And you probably will wear through your WASD keys before you'll ever need to upgrade your GPUs after that. Uh, but tell you what, why don't we send you a 1080 first? You can see how that goes, and then if that's not enough power for you, you can always take a look at that gaming notebook with the SLI on it. All right, Mason Roberts. Seriously, can't believe how thin TVs and monitors are getting these days. It's amazing the technology they pack in these things. I wish I could afford some of those. Can't wait to play Mass Effect on the new NVIDIA Shield. Gonna be a great year. Stay great, NVIDIA. No, Mason, you stay great. And we can't promise exactly Mass Effect on Shield just yet. There's gonna be tons of great games coming to Shield. Uh, we will announce them as, as they come out. Just keep your eyes open on shield.com to see what kind of games we're gonna be having available on the Shield. Certainly, you can sling your PC game from your PC through your Shield to your TV if that's something that you wanna do in full HDR goodness. Uh, but you're gonna need a seriously strong GPU for that. So how about a 1080 for you as well? We got one. All right, that's it. Do we have anything else? Like a 970 or something to give away? No? All right, well, that's what we got. Uh, five 1080s for you, but we're gonna continue to have awesome contests on this channel. Stick around, we're gonna be coming up with coverage of GDC very soon. We're gonna be at E3 later this year. We're gonna have tons of videos and information on games that you care about and technology that NVIDIA supplies. We'll see you soon on GeForce.